freedom. This is a huge tip. Now, in my personal experience, the best YouTubers are the ones who follow this one. And it's really simple, but you'd be surprised how many people just don't quite get it. Or maybe they get it, but they don't really think that it applies to them anymore. Very simply, never stop learning. It's one of the things that has kept me in, to, in a position where I can keep up with everything new going on on YouTube and also tweaking my strategies with the new stuff and the old stuff and all that. If you commit yourself on average to about one hour a day of researching something that you know nothing about, you will find that you as a creator, not only will you be more fulfilled, you'll also be a lot more well-rounded. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that as a gamer you need to foray into vlogging. However, being familiar with tactics that vloggers use can help you develop your on-screen personality. And it doesn't just stop there. If you're a gamer and you get new gear, well, do an unboxing. Start looking at how you can utilize your existing audience and your existing skill set to tackle other verticals. The reason that this works is because you as a creator can put your talents to work in other ways. And though it might sound sort of counterproductive, being able to exercise your mind and of course new skills translate over very well to other things. So for instance, you're a vlogger by trade. You want to start maybe foraying into more creative types of verticals. Maybe you pair up with someone to do a beauty video or maybe a parody of a beauty video or something like that. By flexing these creative muscles, you are able to grow your brand and your skill set as a creator. Zesty Mike is a great example of this. Zesty Mike is constantly coming up with new projects that flex his creative muscles and also give him an excuse to try out new techniques and doing new things. And for that, I respect him a lot, actually. On my gaming channel, before I joined Freedom, I made a point to do this. And I would routinely come out with unboxing videos. I would routinely come out with uh, vlogs or community update videos, which really, when you're a gamer, a community update video is really nothing more than a vlog with possible gameplay on screen. When it comes right down to it, the day that you stop learning is the day that you stop succeeding. Also, it can help you get out of that funk that you find yourself in occasionally when you just don't know what to record or you just don't want to break one more block in Minecraft or, heaven forbid, you should have to do one more tag video. It's a great resource. It's a great thing for you to pull out of your YouTube toolbox and put to use. As my comment question, I would be very curious to know, what have you learned this week? or what have you put to use that you've learned previously? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be very glad to discuss it with each and every one of you. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all Freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers and click the other videos like How Do I Leave Freedom to learn more. Click Get More Views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click Get More CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom.